Hi, my name is Karen Fitch and I'm in product marketing at Texas Instruments. In this video, I'll walk through where to find and how to use TI's guided search for pulse width modulated, resonant, and power factor correction controllers. Whether you're starting your first power design or a seasoned power expert, with so many controller options available, it can be overwhelming to select the best part for your design. This tool helps you quickly narrow down your selection devices so you can get to designing quicker with the right device. Let's take a look at how it works. The first step is finding the tool on the website. Starting at ti.com, navigate to products and then to power management. From here, navigate down the tree until you find offline and isolated DC to DC controllers and converters. From here, you can select between the AC and DC solutions of PSC and flyback controllers or the isolated DC to DC solutions of PWM and resonant controller. We will first start with the PWM and resonant controllers. Once you get to the overview tab, then navigate to the products. On the upper right hand side is where we see the guided search. The first step in selecting the right PWM or resonant controller for your design is selecting the power topology that you will use. From flyback to phase shift to fold ridge, each topology offers their own unique sets of benefits and drawbacks. The first screen of the selection tool allows you to choose your topology if you already know which one you're designing or helps you choose based on your design requirements. We will start with Help Me Choose. The tool recommends topologies based on your input voltage, output power, and a key design consideration. Let's use an example of an input range of 36 to 72 volts and an output power of 200 watts. As you can see, there are multiple recommended topologies that are listed. You can refine further by selecting a key design consideration. I will select High Efficiency. For this example, Active Clamp Forward is listed as the number one recommended topology. Let's select this topology and see what is next. Once you select the topology, a new screen will show with specific questions for that topology. These questions allow you to select which features or options you need in your design. To learn more about each option, click on the question mark and an explanation plus an application note if applicable will show up. These questions are designed to help differentiate all the controllers that support your chosen topology. For this example, let's say that we want a PFET clamp fit and use current control and want high voltage startup. As you can see, we have narrowed down our selection from 389 parts down to three parts that fit my requirements. From here, you can select on a part to go to the product folder to download the data sheet and see more training materials specific to that device. In addition to a PWM or resonant controller, you may need to select a power factor correction or PFC controller for your design. To go to the guided search for PFC controllers, scroll back up and go to the offline and isolated DC-DC controllers and converters, select the PFC controllers, and then the products tab. TI has a broad range of single phase and interleaved critical conduction mode or transition mode and continuous conduction mode controllers. Similar to the PWM and resonant controller page, if you know which topology you want, you can select it on the device type on the left. If you are still deciding which topology would be the best fit for your design, select Help Me Choose on the right. We will go with Help Me Choose. After you select Help Me Choose, a series of questions will pop up. The recommended topology is largely based on your output power requirements. Transition mode controllers are recommended for lower power levels, while continuous conduction mode controllers are optimized for higher power. For this example, I will select an output power level in the range of 300 to 700 watts. As you answer the questions, additional questions will appear to help guide you to the optimal topology. For this example, I will choose that low profile matters more than low external part count, I want a variable switching frequency, and that I have standby power requirements. Similar to the PWM and resonant controller tool, you can click the question mark to learn why each question is being asked. After you have finished answering the questions, or at any point, you can select view parts to see the recommended parts. For this example, we are able to narrow down to one part out of our 69 total parts. Every power design has their own unique requirements, and with so many parts on the market, it can be hard to know where to start. 
The next time you're in need of a PWM, resonant, or PFC controller, try out Texas Instruments Selection Tool to help you get to designing quicker.